jump right in. The first, very first thing, uh, three years ago, I co-founded a university uh, called Singularity University up in Silicon Valley, and um, uh, with uh, Ray Kurzweil, uh, partnered with uh, our founding partners are Google and Cisco and Nokia and Kauffman Foundation, Autodesk, ePlanet Ventures. And this university is focused on teaching people about exponential technologies. So the first part of this is something that I think all of you need to really understand about the world we're in. It's called goodbye to linear thinking. So let's kick this off. So the human race evolved over the last 150,000 years. And if you think about the conditions under which your brain has evolved as a human, the world that we lived in 100,000 years ago, 150,000 years ago, even 20,000 years ago, was what I call local and linear. What that means is that everything that happened that affected your life happened within a day's walk. When something happened on the other side of the planet, you didn't know about it, you didn't care about it. And it didn't matter. You lived in a local world. And it was a linear world, meaning that the life of your great-great-grandparents, life, your life and your children's life and their children's life, didn't change generation to generation. Everything was the same. Fast forward to today. We're living in a world today that's exponential and global. Something happens in China, Korea, Japan, it affects us a minute later. Exponential, the life of your grandparents and your parents and you and your children is changing at such a rate that it's inconceivable for people to understand what life would be like a generation from now. Very different thing, but remember, your brain evolved to understand local and linear, but the world today is exponential and global. And you have to remember that your innate reactions and thinking, because of the design of your brain, is local and linear. What does that mean? On this curve, you see a red line, and that red line is linear. It's the way that we as humans think and react. We make linear projections. I'll come to this in a second. But the yellow line is the exponential technical world we're living in. And because of the difference there, the stress between the rapid growth of companies and our inability to predict where these things are going causes disruptive stress. What does that mean? Billion-dollar companies go out of business overnight. From publishing to record to print to digital film or to film, no matter what it is. And billion-dollar companies come out of no place. Literally, you've got, you're going from zero to YouTube being sold for $1.6 billion to Google in 18 months or a zero to six billion dollar offer on Groupon in under two years. Extraordinary creative energy. Never before have we seen these kind of velocities. And what's driving that is a series of exponential technologies, technologies that are changing our world and giving you as individuals the power to do what only governments or large corporations could do before. Today, you or a small group of folks can affect a billion people if you so desire. Never before have we had this kind of power. So what are those technologies? AI, robotics, 3D printing, molecular genetics, nanomaterials, quantum computing, ubiquitous sensors. These are fields that are growing, doubling, on orders of timescales of months to a year or two. So underpinning all of this is something called Moore's Law, which hopefully you all have heard about. It's the concept that a computer doubles in its processing speed every roughly year to 18 months. And if you remember nothing out of this presentation, look at this graph. On the left side is a log curve. On the bottom is a 100-year timeline. Now, an exponential function where things are doubling, typically an exponential curve, on a log curve is a straight line. The fact that this is curving upwards means that the speed at which things are growing exponentially is itself growing exponentially. So if you feel like things are getting faster in your life, they are. <laughs> the other thing is, these are historic points of the speed of a computer for the average $1,000 laptop. And what's important to note is that over the last 100 years, this curve has been relatively smooth through wars, through peacetime, through great times, recessions and depressions. This curve is generated by faster computers building faster computers building faster computers, independent of what's going on in the world. And the reason I point that out is if you believe it's been pretty consistent, the question is, will it be continuing in this way? 
And if you believe the curve is likely to continue, which I do, and this has been you know, generation after generation of technologies going from literally a relay to a vacuum tube to a transistor to integrated circuits, now going to three-dimensional integrated circuits, if you project it forward, what does that mean? Well, last year, the average $1,000 laptop computed at 10 to the 11th cycles per second. 100 billion calculations on your computer at home in a second. It's pretty good. Fast forward another 13 years to 2023, and the average $1,000 laptop is going to compute at the rate of the human brain, 10 to the 16th cycles per second. That's the computational capability of your optical and auditory cortex as it does pattern recognition. So what does that mean when your computer calculates at the average speed of a human mind? But wait, there's still more. 25 years later, the average $1,000 laptop is computing at the rate of the entire human race. So we're in for some drastic and radical change, far more than we've seen before. So what does exponential growth feel like? This is the university uh, up at Silicon Valley, right in the center of Silicon Valley that we started. And Ray Kurzweil and I and my friend Salim Ismail, who's in the back, started this university to create a place where you could come and understand the impact of exponential technologies on your life, your work, your industry. We actually run two programs. We run a graduate program for 80 graduate students. Over 2,000 people apply from 50 countries around the world, 80 get in. And we run executive programs, four-day and seven-day executive programs, where you can come and really get an understanding of what's in the lab today and coming to market in two years, five years, 10 years, and 20 years in AI, robotics, computing, networks, human-machine interface, biotech, bioinformatics, nanomaterials, all the things which are going to create billion-dollar companies and destroy billion-dollar companies and change every single aspect of your life. And if you don't know what's coming, you will be blindsided. If you do know what's coming, at least you'll have the chance to perhaps take advantage of it. So what does exponentials feel like? It feels like cell phone penetration in Africa, going from 2,000, 2% 2 in 2000, and growing to over 70% by 2013. And what does a billion new minds coming online feel like? We're going to have a billion new people entering the internet over the next couple of years. So what are they going to consume? What are they going to provide? What kind of market are they going to be? Because if you don't realize, it's an extraordinary marketplace. A marketplace that demands re resilient, low-cost products that will change our marketplace. So if I took 30 linear steps from this end of the room, one, two, three, I end up 30 meters away. But what does exponential growth feel like? If I took 30 exponential steps, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, where do I end up? I end up doing 26 orbits around the Earth. So the fact that that inherent disconnect between, you can tell where 30 steps are, you can take a pretty good guess. I tell you where's 20 exponential steps, or, or 30 or 40 exponential steps, you have no idea. We don't have the hard wiring in our brain. And because we don't understand these things, but the world has become exponential, you're in danger. If you're interested in coming to one of our executive programs and really getting an understanding of what exponentials feel like, uh, what companies in the valley are taking advantage of 3D printing and AI and robotics to build the next billion dollar companies, uh, you can go to singularu.org and you can find out more about it.